In this video, I'm just going to show you the picture frame feature that comes with 14.2 of Photoshop. Now, first thing I'm going to do, one thing with these, a lot of these patterns, it's actually nice to actually create on a new layer. And then you can manipulate the layer. So, right, now it's got a new layer. I can go to the Edit, Define Pattern. I don't want to define the pattern. I want to actually Edit Fill. It does help. Right, select the pattern option. You see different options there. Custom pattern, no use whatsoever in the picture frame. It's weird that it's actually stuck away in this, this thing. It should be really in the, such a powerful feature that seems odd to be stuck away in scripted patterns. Anyway, the scripted patterns, picture frame there. Click OK. The various settings so there's a whole range of like simple lace and just select and it will and just create some change the size of that you can modify this setting so you can actually go say petals and now depending actually on the the option used you can actually access this leaf it doesn't it's not available each and every time so I'm just gonna so you might go, let's say, Pulse. And then you will see the Leaf option. The other one, it didn't allow it. So there are certain things you have to just, just obviously, with practice, you'll remember which ones actually have this option. And along with the flowers, you can actually add different leaves. So you've got a different, whole range of different designs. So literally thousands of combinations can be used. And as well as, let's say, varying all these various settings. Modify the leaf size. you will see the leaf size just changed not they look exactly like leaves as being crosses but anyway that's the leaf size right click OK at that point and fill will eventually finish yep there it is it's finished so now once you've actually got that design you can of course it's on a layer so you can actually of course you could do turn it into a smart object so one option I'm just gonna you can rotate it, you can apply it obviously on a design, so if there's a photo or something, you can actually add it on top of a photo as a highlight. Or perhaps you could use it as a brush stroke, pattern design itself. Also, once you've actually got this, once you've actually got this design, of course you can apply styles as well. So I've just got some styles over here, graphic extra styles, but you can just basically select those styles and straight away you can actually turn them into these, this frame into something some pretty unusual three-dimensional oddball designs and of course you can also go over to layer styles and modify the various settings yourself for this picture frame. I hope you found this tutorial 